so hi guys hi guys welcome back to our beautiful channel my name is Lilian Lema the host of this show karibu ni tena tena kama it's your first time to be here a uh, hii channel tunaongelea vitu tofauti tofauti ikiwemo mapishi a uh, tunaongelea kuhusu sexual health and education tunaongelea kuhusu vitu vingi sana ambavyo i will say it's a life in general Sawa. So, so kama ha, ha, it's your first time and how you subscribe please don't forget to subscribe to comment and share this video if you going to like it as we know au kama haufahamu naomba nikufahamishe kila tarehe 25 mwezi wa 11 mpaka tarehe 10 disemba kuna kuaga na maadhimisho siku 16 za kupinga ukatili kwa wanawake na watoto wa kike. Siku 16 za kupinga ukatili katika watoto wa kike na wanawake hufanyika kila mwaka toka mwaka 1991 ambapo ilianzishwa na wanaharakati. Walivyoona vitendo vya kikatili kwa watoto wa kike na wanawake vimekuwa vingi wakaamua kukama kwa the idea of 16 days of activism ambayo hufanywa kila mwaka toka 1991 ambapo ilianzishwa na wanaharakati hao baada ya kuona vitendo vimezidi vya kikatili. So kwa ambaye alikuwa farm hopefully atakuwa amefahamu nini ambacho tunaongelea kuhusu 16 days of activism. Nataka ni waonyeshe au ni waeleze types ambazo zipo zinazojulikana kama ni vitendo vya katili. Like according to the Istanbul Convention ambayo walifanya meeting tarehe 11 mwezi wa 5 2011, they came up with different uh, types of uh, EGBV or gender based violence ambazo ndio kuwapitisha you guys so as you could uh, understand pale unapopitia violence yoyote pale ili ujue uko kwenye type gani na unaweza kuishtaka katika mamlaka ambazo zina uhusiana na hivi vitu. Ya kwanza ni physical violence. Physical violence hapa tunaongelea zile violence za kupigwa, za kuumizwa, kitu chochote ambacho utafanywa kimwili ambacho kitakuumiza, hiyo inaitwa physical violence. Mfano, mzazi akimpiga mtoto wake, hiyo inakuwa tagged as child abuse ambayo it's a physical violence. Kwenye physical violence mtu anaweza kutumia object, anaweza kutumia mikono au akatumia kiungo chochote cha mwili wake hata akakungata hiyo that's the physical violence, akakufinya that is the physical violence as long as if you feel the pain out of it that means it's the violence. Ya pili ni verbal speech or hate speech or verbal violence. Hii ni violence ambayo inatokea pale ambapo mtu anaongea maneno ya kukuumiza. Mfano mtu akakutukana, mtu akatoa akato, jokes au au ni sema utani ambao unakuumiza, mtu akasema neno ambalo ni baya au mtu akaongelea kitu ambacho kinahusiana dini yako ambayo unajua kabisa this thing is not supposed to be like this lakini akaiongea. Akakwambia wewe direct. That is the the verbal or hate speech. So ukiona mtu anakutania kwenye vitu ambavyo unajua kabisa vinakuumiza personally that is the violence. Ya tatu ni psychological violence. Psychological violence is one of the most biggest painful thing, violence kwa sababu inakuwa inamuumiza mtu ndani kwa ndani aina haionekani kwa nje unless that person a decided to kuongea kuonyesha kwamba jamani mimi nafanywa hiki na hiki na hiki psychologically inakuwa ina affect mfano kutengwa mtu anaweza kuwa anafanya kitu fulani lakini labda jamii yake hairuhusi kwa kitu kwa anatengwa pia labda anaweza kuwa ni mwanafunzi shuleni ame miss something ambacho kilikuwa kinahitajika na wanafunzi wenzake au ambacho kilikuwa kinahitajika shuleni kwa hiyo mwalimu anamtenga na mweka sehemu nyingine that is a psychological torture or psychological violence Then is a sexual violence sexual violence ni ukatili ambao unafanywa kwa watoto kike wa kiume ambavyo sasa hivi pia imekuwa kwenye kasi sana watu wa kiume kufanywa vitendo hivi na ni pale ambapo mtu labda anabakwa au kulawitiwa hii inaitwa sexual violence au pia kufanywa FGM kukeketwa kwa watoto wa kike au tunaweza kusema uh, mtu labda anaangalia porn na kulazimisha muangalie wote au mtu ana masturbate anataka kutumia picha zako au kukuangalia wewe yani amekapa na masturbate have to watch them hiyo ni moja wapo ya pati ya sexual violence according to Istanbul Convention ya tano ni socio economic violence natoke mostly hata pale ambapo uh, mwanamke ananyimwa haki ya kusoma au mwanamke ananyimwa haki ya kufanya kitu fulani just because ni mtoto wa kike au mwanamke anashindwa kufanya ABC just because ni mtoto wa kike. Hiyo inaitwa social social economic violence. Domestic violence au in, intimate partner violence ni vile vitendo vya katili ambavyo vinafanywa kwa mwenza. Mfano kaka na dada wana date au mke na mume wana date, lakini vitendo ambavyo vinafanywa na mmoja wapo ambapo ni kinyume na yule mwingine, hiyo vinaitwa intimate partner violence. Na mostly of this vinakuwa vinafunikwa kwa sababu tu ya kuamini huyu nampenda. I mean in the name of love, mtu anaendelea kuvimilia vile vitendo. Na hii imeshika sana kati kwa, kwa vijana wengi kupitia vitendo hivi vya kikatili kwa sababu tu maybe they are not financially stable especially watoto wa kike. Kuona ukutana kuvimilia vitendo vya kikatili kama hivi just because hana uwezo kujitafutia hela au hana uwezo 
uweze kujipatia kitu fulani so acha boyfriend akimpiga kisha akamletea zawadi ya, ya maua akampa hela simu nzuri gari unakutana na vivumilia so hii ndio inaitwa intimate partner violence au pia hata wanaume ndani ya ndoa kufanya vitendo vya kikatili na mwanamke anavumilia just because anaamini kuvumilia kwake kutafanya endelee kukuza watoto wake kwenye hiyo familia au kaambiwa labda ukikataa kufanya kitu fulani na huwa watoto wako. Kwa hiyo unakuta anavumilia just because anaonea huruma watoto wake anataka watoto wake wakuwe. Hizi violence zipo kwenye familia zetu, zipo kwenye maisha yetu ya kila siku. So just we have to be very open na kuweza kuongea pale tunapoyapitia. Harassment hii ni type ya mwisho discussed by a Istanbul Convention ambapo harassment tunaongelea vitu ambavyo anafanywa mtu bila yeye kupenda mfano tukiwa kwenye sehemu za kazi akaja yule kwa wako I mean one of your coworker maybe anakutongoza au anakuangalia kwa jicho fulani hivi au labda anakushika ukiwa ofisini au labda anakuongelesha maneno fulani ambayo wewe hutaki. Na tunajua kwamba vitendo kama hivi mtu anaweza kuwa anachukua kama utani na kushika hapa lakini bwana niache, au oh, niache, no. That is very bad kwa sababu hiyo moja wapo ni hiyo ni moja wapo ya sexual harassment. Kwa hiyo tukiwa makazini tunatendi sana kuangalia hivi vitendo kama mtu anakushika msema ambao hutaki labda anakuangalia kwa majicho ya tamaa anakuactia fulani hivi sexually ambapo wewe hutaki that is an harassment you can even report that so i just wanted you guys to go through all this ili tujue pale tunapoongelea kuhusu 16 days of activism tunaongelea vitu gani na tunapinga vitu gani we have seen kuna types we have seven types of uh, gbv and uh, i've given an, uh, different examples lakini there are so many examples of all this um lakini hizi pia zinaweza kufungua macho kujua pale unapopitia vitendo vya kikatili kama ulikuwa hufahamu ni vinakuwaje na types zake zikoje na mtu anakuwa anafanya nini au amekosea wapi kujua hizi types of GBV kwa Tanzania tuna Institute of Tofauti ambazo zina deal na vitendo vya kikatili lakini kama unapitia vitendo kama hivi na unajua sehemu ya kureport cha kwanza mtu akifanyia kitendo cha kikatili hakikisha unaenda kureport kwa dawati la jinsia na hizi zote huwa zinapatikana katika vituo vya polisi and pia kuna namba tofauti tofauti za simu ambazo unaweza kupiga you can google them ukaona pale zile namba ambazo unaweza kupiga pale unapitia vitendo vya kikatili usinyamaze usikae kimya pale unapopitia vitendo vya kikatili kwa sababu vingi unasababisha mpaka watu kufa kupoteza viungo vya mwili kuwa mentally unstable kupata depressions kwa hiyo tujitahidi sana kuwa very open kuongelea pale tunapopitia vitendo hivi na tuwe to bring more awareness to other people ili watu wajue kwamba vitendo vipo na we can be solved na naweza pia uka, tuka, tuka vi, vika, vikaisha kabisa yani tukavimaliza nobody deserves to be better nobody deserves to be raped nobody deserves to be going through any psychological physical mentally abuse anyhow nobody deserves all that thank you so much for watching this video let's meet another time if i get it of all time peace